Hey guys, it's Zero Methanol here, and I thought I'd put together something quick to help people ski in Traps Ascend, and maybe a little bit at the end on how to get very fast speeds. Skiing is a huge mechanic in Traps Ascend, and it allows players to get from A to B quickly by the use of frictionless boots. The general concept is jet up slopes and ski down them. Although the in-game tutorial tells us this, anyone who's actually done it knows it's not the best guide out there. When you use your jetpack, I think the quickest speed you can get to is roughly 74 km an hour. Which means if you're going any quicker than that when you activate the jets while falling, you won't gain any speed, or if you use them when you're flying up, you won't lose any speed. You will use your jets mostly to counter the effects of gravity, rather than to actually fly you to places. The mistake that most people make is overshooting hills and landing on the flat ground on the other side by accident. This just takes practice. The perfect jump is the one where you can turn off your jets as early as possible and land just on the top of the downward slope. That way you've got the most time to gain speed by falling. If you think you're going to miss the slope, then use little bursts of your jet. But remember, for every second that they're on, you lose speed that you'd normally be gaining from falling. Okay, once you've got that down, you'll probably be able to hit 200 fairly easily on maps with big hills. So I'll show you how to get a bit faster. There are two kinds of jump that a Pathfinder can do. Nitron jumps, also known as concussion jumping, and disc or bolt jumps, depending on what your primary weapon is. For these you want to be running the egocentric perk. This will allow you to do two nitrons and a bolt jump, or if you're using the spin fuser you can even do two spin fuser jumps and a nitron jump without dying. Disc jumping involves firing your disc or bolt behind you on the ground to get momentum. It works best when flying up a slope, so that's usually what I save it for. The speed you get for using it on flat ground just isn't worth it. The other kind of jump is a nitron jump. To do these, you throw them on the ground behind you. It's pretty simple, but to get the most from them, the angle needs to be perfect. They do take a while to get used to. And you can't use them if you have the flag, else you'll knock it out from your own hands. They can also be used to gain a lot of height if thrown directly below you, like in this clip. And I probably would have got that if the base turret didn't hit me. So, the key to getting fast speeds is to do all of these things in tandem. Nitrons on the flat ground, disc jumps on hills, and holding the jetpack for the shortest time you can. Another very handy tip is if you want to change direction quickly while flying or just get that extra bit of distance, if you spam right click, it's in, you turn your jets off and on very 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 quickly, then you end up changing direction or getting a lot further than you would do as if you just held the jet back down. More than anything, it's the routes you use and the landings, especially the landings. Anyway, I hope these tips help you and maybe you can actually hit the flag unlike me. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you around soon.